Well, hey everybody, it's Heaps EVA. Welcome to my channel. How are you guys? I miss you a lot. You think, well, you're the one that's not showing up. That doesn't mean I don't think about the people that come to my channel every day. It's weird to have struggles with trying to get things done. It's weird. It really is. I don't know what that whole blinking thing was in the video. Apologize for that. Welcome to Firefighting Simulator, The Squad. I was looking for something to really get me motivated. You know, there's kind of a lag in updates and new things on the, the uh, other games. And I was so far behind everybody else and letting you know about it anyway, that if this hadn't come along when it did... I'm sure I would have gotten around to something else eventually, but it's very hard to describe, to explain. It's okay. I've been waiting for firefighter simula firefighting simulator, which added the, the squad thing at the end of it just this year for almost as long as Emerge NYC has been out. And I remember having it, I actually had videos or a video because unfortunately the only thing you could do originally was walk around one of the pieces of equipment. That was it. It was a great advertisement for Rosenbauer. I think it's Rosenbauer, right? Who designed these fire equipment. And so, you know... I kind of walked away from it knowing that it didn't seem like anything was going on. A lot of people assumed that it had died. Um, but huh, somebody definitely picked it up and ran with it. And here we are. So, nice way to start the game. The game loads pretty fast. Some interesting fire apparatus. Um, but that's okay. Rosenbauer? I think it's Rosenbauer. I honestly, where I was, I didn't see any. Doesn't mean they don't exist. Just no organization I worked for or was nearby had one. So let's go into new game and we'll start as the brand new guy and see what happens. I have played a little bit. But I can't get too far ahead. You know what do you mean? This is not an open world type or even a map type where you cruise around and wait for the bell to go off. As you can tell in the background, the bell has already gone off and you're being sent to a mission, a.k.a. a fire, and I'm the the uh, passenger right this minute. You get updates online from the dispatcher, and you drive to an incident, and you conduct business, if you will, at that incident. And at a given time, after you've accomplished certain things, the mission just is over. You don't clean up. You don't drive back to the fire station. None of that stuff. You just go back to the map, so to speak, and look for something else to do. And there's lots to do. Don't get me wrong. It's, it's not just five missions and you're done. But it is a mission-based simulator, not a open world type game. And some of you are going to have to get your mind around this based on what I saw on the forums about people really not being happy with how they decided to uh, deal with this game and make it a mission-based instead of a... Uh, A open world type. 
It's too early to say one way or the other. And you walk. Hey, I think you have to carry me. <laughs> it broke my and so he's talking to me. I don't know if you can hear it or not. You got to hustle out of here. It's probably kind of warm for that guy. Um, you know, it, it is what it is. We need a little bit of everything and things being different is not terrible. Um, I have gone to the forums, not a lot of happy campers. Notice I completed an objective. So I'm going to drop this over here. Nice Rosenbauer ladder here, ladder here. I'm going to drop the tool so I don't need it anymore. Come over here and grab a canozzle and kneel down. And here comes the next thing. Notice the flame targets, as I would call them, because if you've played flashing lights, you've seen these before. Now, are they used in the same way? Don't have a 100% answer for you yet. Um, I think it's more of a, hey, squirt here type of deal. But, yeah, I was kind of hoping not to see these again. At least they don't act as they do in the other game. This has a little more realism to it. The fact that there are multiple other AI controlled firefighters working on the fire is not a terrible thing. There's nothing worse in a couple of the games where being unable to do more than one thing at a time and you need to be doing 10 things right then. But I will say that being closer to the fire, and I put a few hours into this just to see what's going on, is better than being far away. Imagine that, huh? Um, you can move your nozzle around a little bit. It's not terrible. It's not a bad idea. Um, and it will eventually go out, kind of like all fires do. They all go out eventually, even in real life. But I'm still getting used to some of the way the game plays. Um, the AI controls are a little, I wouldn't call them intuitive by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but considering other games that I've played that have no AI at all, per se, I'm not complaining. Because if I could just set a guy with a hose line to do something for me so that I could do something else, I don't think that that's such a bad idea. And so, again, another wait and see moment as we figure out how this game's going to go. That the people that are mad because it's not open map, who've already written this game off, will eventually find a reason to not hate the game and maybe even give it a try for what it is. Um, my guess that even the uh, missions that you might see over and over again, maybe they play a little differently depending on whether you want to be the host guy one time, you want to be the uh, guy that uh, rescues all the people the next time, I don't know. I don't know if that'll be enough. I can't even answer if it'll be enough for me. And so I got to kind of figure that out in the next um, bit of time that we have. Wow. Obviously, I already took care of that. I have done this a couple of takes because I'm learning there are certain things to do. And you can either do them or not do them. But if you don't do them, you may not finish the mission. Which could be a 
interesting thing for some people and others might think it's BS. And I think you know what that means. So that only took 10 minutes. And so I will tell you that the missions have been unlocked. This is the map you see. Um, another fire has been unlocked for us. And that if you, after you do that first incident, if you haven't done anything else, I strongly recommend you go to the training facility. I already have because I didn't want, because it takes time. And it takes more than the 30 minutes I usually allow for a video. So I guess what we should probably do is start an incident and see where we get to in the next 20 minutes or so. So I'm going to dismiss this. It takes two clicks, believe it or not. So now we can go back, zoom out a little bit, bit and notice that this is the fire we put out. And right next door, unfortunately, is another structure fire. So we are going to just hit start because if we do this, it opens a multiplier game. So we're going to start. We're going to establish some hose lines. I'll show you how to do that. Go to the training. You don't have to do that. And I'm going to start the mission. So first thing they do is they put you here. You're going to be picking a fire apparatus and you're going to start the mission. And you're going to drive. And we'll do a little driving, and then I'm going to cut away because, oh my God, there must only be one firehouse in this entire city. It took me seven minutes just to get from the fire station to the incident. But you should hear the way the unit drives. I appreciate that it's got controls. Notice that you can't just get out of the fire unit. See, notice that you're getting updates from your dispatcher. And I will obviously, in post-processing, get rid of some of the uh, um, noise that's in here. I'm still getting used to the driving is a little different. So it's just one of those things, a lot of, a lot of leaning, which fire apparatus really don't do. So anyway, I'm going to cut away because this drive is very long and I'll come back when we're coming up on scene. So give me a few minutes. All right, guys, we are back. Now, you got to go through this process. There's nothing you can do yet. And so this guy does a 360. He must be on the truck. Okay, so they already set me up with a hydrant supply, which is good. A, um, so yes, sir. I'll cut your path, boss. He's he's going to sit there, but I need something first, which is over here. Uh, one of these cabinets. Not what I needed. Who kept taking all these out? 
I need this pry tool right here. Come on, dude. Follow me. And he is following me, which is good. Now, first thing we're going to do, we're going to breach the locked door. I was pushing the wrong button. And then we come down. And I'm going to get him going on this. Let's see. Um... See if he gets a a uh, pose for me. No, 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 no. You've got to come with me. I've I've already forgotten. Um, so I think that gets him to do that. There's the other guy. And so, two. Now I got both of you knuckleheads. And so, three. I want to. I don't know what I want him to do. What are you doing, dude? I don't even know who that is. And so what I got to do is they're going to come out to me. And I honestly can't remember the command don't forget, we've got victims in there. to get them to uh, do what they need to do. I'll follow you. I really didn't want him to do that, but I guess they're just going to follow me everywhere. I got to go to the ambulance. I got to get better at figuring out um, the whole command thing. It is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. And I know there's a way to get your firefighters to stop following you around. And look at the spaghetti that's down on the ground. So get these guys back in here so that we don't lose the fire.
trying to see if he'll stay there. Oh, so number one. on one is this no guys come on can we like put the fire out for crying out loud Now, does that do anything or are they going to start following me again? So first thing I got to do is disconnect this. That takes care of that. I think there's another victim floating around somewhere. Not in here. There's a giant stuffed dinosaur in there. Okay, that goes to the out. Are they still fighting fire? Well, that's a good thing. What I want to do is see if I can see any other patients. Nada. Okay, there's bars on that one. Not much we're going to do there. So there's still... They are getting a handle on it. Not as much as I would have wanted. But they're not letting it get away from them either. So I'm going to do this. And keep the fire on this side. Let's see if I can get um, number one. The, the command is for the other guy. Alright, then follow me then. I guess only so many hose lines can be used. Going there, Sparky. I've got your back, boss. 
get himself all burned up. Try to get ahead of this a little bit. It's definitely moving in. Helps get the fire out. Kind of cool how you can bounce it off the side, the uh, the ceiling a little bit. Ouch! That hurt just a skosh. get this ceiling heat knocked down. You can't um, get ventilation. It's not a thing. Obviously, their decision-making isn't the greatest. But we are making headway, which is all I can do. We are making headway. And we're getting close. So we might actually do this before the video's over. This is the other side of the house. Nowhere else to go. We did it. My first one and I completed the objective on time. So how'd I do? Like I said, got to work on the whole telling the guys what to do thing. I did write it down. That doesn't mean I understood what I wrote. And Oh, excuse me. Whoa. So, I wonder if there's a pause button. There is a pause button. Yay. Hey, guys. Thank you so much for coming by my channel. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and encouraging me. I, I have gotten a lot of those. I really appreciate it. I'm getting back to whatever new version of normal is going to be till further notice. Uh, this game is a great Kickstarter for me. So that being said, if you like the video, like what we're doing, like the fact that we brought a brand new uh, firefighting game to the channel, let me know in the comments. Tell me what you think about the game. Ask questions, whatever, in the comments. I'd really appreciate it. If you didn't like what I did, can you give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I apologize. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up, too. The algorithm likes that, remember? If you give me a thumbs down, which the algorithm pays attention to, please take a second and let me know what I did so I don't repeat a mistake. At the end of the day, if you haven't, please consider um, subscribing, um, checking the bell, let you know what's going on on my channel. So you guys have a great week. Hope your weekend was good. If you're in the U.S., you're probably looking forward to Thanksgiving if that's a thing that you and your family do or you do on your own. I'm going to get back to work, make this into a video. I feel good about this one. I think this one's going to be a keeper and it's going to get uploaded. It's not my schedule. It's kind of YouTube's. We'll see how that all goes. You guys, like I said before, have a great week. Stay safe. Be careful. 
You and I will bump into each other soon. Take care.